Hey, what's up, guys? BitNation here with another Critical Hits, this time featuring the much debated Destiny. With me, as always, Sam. Sam. So, Sam, uh, you have some strong feelings about this. Why don't I let you take the lead? Well, you know, I was always a fan of the Halo games, so as long as it's fairly Halo esque combat wise, I, I like that about it. The one thing that right off the bat kind of rubbed me the wrong way is that, you know, the spaceship is just like a placeholder for loading screens in between planets. You know, I really like, you know, spaceship combat, you know, but, you know, in like the Halo games, you know, what little they threw in there always left you wanting more. So, you know, hopefully in the future they can add, like, actual spaceship missions, you know, that are fulfilling and, you know, unique and, and not just, like, a placeholder. Uh, Storyline-wise, I think it's interesting. There just needs to be more of it. Uh, I do like the, the thought of uh, Peter Dinklage, you know, as the little robot guy, but from what I've seen, it, it seems like, again, it's kind of limited. Just like, you know, storyline, so, you know, I think I could really enjoy playing, uh, you know, I, I, what little I've seen of it, I enjoy playing it, you know, it seems like once they get it fully flushed out and get all the, the features that I'd like to see in the game, uh, in there, then yeah, I'd like it more, um, but, you know, it, it, again, it, you also have to take into account it's an MMO, uh, you know, partially it's an MMO, so if you're not okay with, you know, repetitive tasks over and over and over again, then it's going to be an annoying game for you. I happen to like repetitive tasks, so it's not irritating for me, but, you know, y you want to go into it remembering that you're going to have to do this mission probably, you know, a bunch of times over and over and over again. Oh, yeah. You see, like, a level 4 over there. I saw a level 30 earlier. Yeah. Um, and, uh, okay, so story-wise, game-wise, we have some... It leaves some to be desired. Um, how about visuals-wise? Now, I, this only being available on consoles. Now, we're playing this on a PS3, and as you can see, you know, the environment... It, it's on uh, next-gen consoles, which I'm assuming look way better than... Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, look at this. Ugh. Yeah. Not the greatest. The sky, however, I, d I am... I That's am, very beautiful. Yeah, I am uh, a fan of what they did with the sky. And it looks like that stuff's coming on. I think some of the alien races that they added were pretty neat. Um, wow. I, li I personally think the hive is the most interesting, but then again, like... That's mostly because it's just like, you know... Hive mind mentality. All right, from what I've seen, that that's really the only one I have any real understanding of. Uh, seems interesting, although at the same point, you know, a little thing that about the hive that did rub me the wrong way is that they seem kind of zombie esque, which I don't much care for. You know. I suppose. I mean, uh, you know. I personally think the whole zombie thing has been done to death, but a hive mind mentality added to zombies, that's kind of interesting, because typically when you think of zombies, you think, well, I'm just going to shamble around and I don't give a crap about anything other than getting to chew on that guy before the other guy does. That's why I want more games like Stubbs the Zombie, where you get to, you get to see from the zombie's perspective. Yeah. <laughs> Those are zombie games that I would actually be interested in playing. Not, hey, you're some guy who what the needs fuck did to. I, just do? Get up. I, just I don't know. It looked like you were trying to sit down. Are you tired? I guess I'm just taking a crap. Shank. Which alien race is this? The sh dark, the shadow, the dark, dark shadows, the darks, mm. the darkies. Not racist. Area. Deploy ghost. Alright. So everything seems to be pretty straightforward. 
And it's an MMO, it's a very rare thing to see an MMO like this, first person shooter, with elements of both Halo and Call of Duty to a certain extent. Yeah. But I will say this the character creator is super, super, like, minimalistic. And I do not enjoy that. Yeah. Not at all. That's something that always irks me with a video game. Mm-hmm. Not to mention, and I'm going to say this. Not to mention, like, the choices I've made for this guy, they don't really matter too much. You get a couple of, quote-unquote, you know, abilities, you know, from picking this class that I've picked. Otherwise, though, I mean, anybody can use the gun I'm using. Anyone can use the gun I'm using. Doesn't matter. You know, anyone can use it. These guns... It's not so much, you know, the abilities or like a cooldown time for the most part. Ammo. You got the ammo, you can use the gun. You know, especially with, with these specialty guns. Oh my, a captain. Oh my. What do you mean? What captain? <laughs> All right. So, um, as you can see, I've chosen uh, the sniper class to play. Uh, revive dead something or other. I think it's that guy over there. Oh, revive dead ghosts. There you go, buddy. See, it says cards acquired. So, um, as far as story is concerned, to kind of, sort of, half-assed address what uh, Sam was talking about earlier, you yeah, can log you on to... and use those cards to, to get more of the story, I think. You have to log out of the game, log into their website, and then read the cards individually to, you know, gain context, which is a really, I don't want to say shitty way of doing it, but not a very good way of doing it. I mean, there are better ways, I mean, taking you completely out of the game just to learn more about the storyline, to me, seems like, you know, ridiculously forced. I mean, even World of Warcraft, you know, once you pick up a mission, you know, you get a little window that says, this is why you're doing what you're doing. And this is your objective. It's that simple. Yeah. And I know they wanted to go a different route from World of Warcraft because everybody that tries to go up against World of Warcraft gets, you know, romba stomped. But you know. <laughs> but you know, I mean, the, the, I mean, they've done an okay job, man. It's just I think, and this is what a lot of people have been saying when they were putting out like promos for this and advertisements and whatnot they gave you one idea of what it was and what it what it could be and it isn't it isn't it isn't what what they promised yeah I, I think it would a lot of people another thing that a lot of people are irritated by is that if I recall correctly this game took like 500 million to make I don't know I it, guess so. it, 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 I don't remember exactly what number, but it was a ridiculous amount. And on launch, like, there were so many issues that, you know, people were just like, this is not worth, you know, the time and effort that was put into it. They felt like they got gypped and cheated because, you know, the company runs around saying that they're throwing this much money at it so that it'll be super awesome. And like you said, they told us it was going to be one way, and it's not. It is not that way at all. And, uh, you know, that's something that's really going to turn people off. I mean, eventually you can fix it, but at the same point, you know, do a little bit better in the alpha and beta testing, because, you know, you could easily piss off some people to the point where they're just never going to come back, no matter how much you fix it. Alright, I'll wait around until everything that I want to see is in there, then I will more than happy go hella hardcore in this game. Now, would you purchase this for a last-gen console, or would you want to get oh, this goodness, for, like, no. a next-gen? I wouldn't even bother until I got a next-gen console. Okay. So, in that particular instance, then, you'd be paying for this and a monthly subscription to online. Yeah. So, at this point, right now, do you think it is worth paying full price for this game, and no. then monthly for? Because no. that's basically what it, I mean. You know, you'd like to think games like Guild Wars, where you pay for it once, you know, that that type of stuff could become more popular. But I mean, these game companies got to make their money. 
And instead of just charging you once for the full price of the game, they're charging you for the full price of the game and you're paying monthly now to just play online in general. Yeah, see, that part, you know, you're getting hung up on that, but you do the same exact thing when you play EVE or WoW. It's just you're not paying Xbox any... You're not paying Xbox, you're paying that game company. Well, you have to remember that this game company is Xbox, so that's their way of doing what World of Warcraft does. No, that, dude, that. that's totally fine. If you want to do that, that's totally fine. But for me, at least, it really brings the game down as far as like quality replayability for me if I have to pay to even be able to play it. Yeah. Like, monthly. Like, I cannot play this game if I don't have an internet connection. Yeah, that's a downer. You know what I mean? Like, that right there is like, nope. Mm, but uh, the but overall idea of forcing people to have an online subscription just to play any game on your next-gen console is a really bad idea because, you know, what if you don't have an internet connection, then, you know, half of your game is cut off from you. Yeah, but I can understand people being like, well, if you don't have an internet connection, man, what are you doing buying a new stream console? It's like, dude, what the f what if you just like playing games, but you don't, you know, yeah. have, you know, the ability to gain access to, to any kind of uh, internet or high well, no, speed it, internet enough to play peer to peer? It, with it, it's not just that. It's like, you know, there are some gamers like myself who, when we started playing games, there wasn't even a second controller. So, you know, I got used to playing by myself. When second, when two controllers got introduced in, I was like, I don't want to play with other people. I used to play by myself. Yeah, a lot of times I find it just a, a lot more frustrating having to deal with other people's either shortcomings or them being so ultra familiar with the game, it's like not even funny for you to even try. You know, like PvP sections in this game are just ridiculous. Yeah, or, you know, like, when uh, a set, or not, what is it? Uh, Elder Scrolls Online game came out. It's like, I have always played the Elder Scrolls games, you know, by myself. I played that, uh, you know, and that's how I got used to playing them. So, when they wanted us to go multiplayer, you know, MMO style, I could tell you right from the get-go, even if the game turned out great, I wasn't going to love it because I like playing those games to be by myself. To immerse myself in the universe, and I don't want all this crap popping up on my screen going, Whoo, look, you got this, 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 this. I want to be left alone so I can look at the beautiful scenery and not have a bunch of people running around jumping at me going, Hey, I'm so-and-so, and I want to talk to you about stuff. <laughs> well, I mean, to each their own. I know a lot of people that only play MMOs. Yeah, you know, and so I guess that that's totally awesome. Yeah, and dude, that's that's perfectly fine, you know, and and it's you know it, it it's it it's got a lot that is appealing for people who aren't usually of the MMO type of crowd. Yeah. You know? So I mean, yeah, I mean, it, you should definitely at least give it a look see, um, but I mean, it, it it's videos like this that really allow you to see without having to pay full price for it and a monthly subscription to, you know, the yeah, uh, Xbox final and whatnot. You know, at least for me, my final thoughts on it are, at this point, no, I wouldn't get it because, you know, you got to pay for the full amount of the game and the monthly subscription, and I don't think the game is at the point where I'd feel comfortable playing that. Just like, you know, when Eve first started out, I, I didn't think there was enough in the game for me to even bother with it. Now, I would totally play it, and I'd play it hardcore. You know, and you'd have to have a monthly subscription for that, there but that's a, a PC title, and it's all sci-fi. We yeah. You know, so but that was long eventually, I think this game could be Until it wakes something that I would find very interesting. Until I then, you know, I'm just gonna stick to my single player and you, must you know, have no end of video games like I like to. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, I mean, uh, I guess I would pay for it if I were playing with other people. Yeah, like, that would be the biggest turn on or turn off for me if there were other people to play with, because, like, 
if I got a next gen console and then I started paying for all this extra stuff, I would want to play with other people. Yeah. I mean, Alright, not just John Q anybody on the internet. Friends. Yeah, in this particular situation, what you're seeing now is us playing it on the PS3. So, you know, you purchase the game and then for the PS3 at the very least, you don't have to pay monthly. So that's cool. But, it, I mean, with these last gen consoles, you get the last gen graphics. You know, but in this in this game, you still get the excellent voice work with the multiple celebrities. You know, yeah. right now we're 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 getting a showcase of uh, what's his name, Mr. Bill Nighy, Bill Bill Nye? Uh, Bill Nighy, yeah. So that's pretty cool, man. And as you can see, they got the uh, wait, wait, shh, we will not survive in this. Yeah, that is Bill Nighy. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely Bill Nighy. What can I do? <laughs> so guys, um, this has been our look at Destiny. I hope it, it helped you out. I hope it really helped you decide whether or not you want to give it a shot or not. You know, we discussed some of the pros. We just we discussed some of the of, of the cons, and it has you know many of both, I'd say, in my opinion. But uh, you know, you decide for yourself. I do believe it's currently still fifty nine ninety nine. Maybe forty nine ninety nine, or or your regional equivalent there. Um, my name has been Eric and Sam. Thank you very much for watching. You guys have a good night. Peace out.